Coming to you live from the Sydney Opera House. Not really, I just kind of felt like saying that and there's nobody else around right now, so why not? As you are with me, there's no place I'd rather be. So, vlogging in public is kind of awkward, just so you know, and it's taking me a little bit of getting used to. Right now, I am at Kirribilli Wharf, and I just thought the Couch to 5K Week 3 update, I would show you a little bit of the awesomeness that I run past every day, because I love Sydney, and I just really wanted to share it with you. We're on location. So if you look just there, you'll see the Opera House, which is something that I jog past every day of Couch to 5K. And I'm going to spin around for a second, so I may have to cut you off for a second, but I'm going to spin around and show you the glorious Sydney Harbour Bridge, which is there, so we're kind of under it right now. But this is the coolest time to go for a job, because seriously, there is like nobody else out. There's a photographer down there, there's a couple of, fish, couple of fishermen like way down the road, and it's just beautiful. And we are going to watch the sun come up at the Opera House. There it is guys, that is the spectacular view that I keep talking about. This is my favourite part of the day when the opera house and the sky turns pink and there's not very many other people around. Like seriously, why aren't people getting up and getting into this? Um, I'm kind of grateful that they're not because I get to have this pretty much to myself with the exception of a few other people who love getting up really early as well. But like guys, when you don't get up early, when you're staying in bed, this is the kind of stuff that you're missing out on. Seriously, get up. Wow, somebody just jumped in the harbour. Yeah, I've moved again and people over there are probably wondering what on earth this girl is doing. Um, there is a couple making out over there. <laughs> so they're probably not even noticing me. I probably need to get over myself right now. Seems like what they've got going on is more important than me, obviously. We Three. How did week three go? Week three went really well. It was pretty uneventful. Um, I had some more physio and my back's getting a lot better. And uh, I did all three days without any real dramas. I'm still like at the end of each session, I'm like, couldn't run any further. Couldn't possibly, gonna die. Like, oh, if you've done Couch to 5K already and you wouldn't mind sharing, at what point did you actually realize you were really gonna be able to run for half an hour or 5Ks or whatever comes first? Um, because I would really like to know. I, I'm just not there. I'm just trusting the process. I don't think I'm gonna be convinced that I can run 5K until I actually run 5K. Um, side note, still really want a Fitbit. Um, haven't bought one, feel like I need to earn it. Who is using a Fitbit? Like, convince me. I mean, you probably don't need to. I really just wanna buy it. They're just expensive and I feel like if I'm going to do that, I need to earn it. Um, how is your week three going, if you're further in the program, if you have only just started, or if you're doing some other kind of fitness, how is it going this week? And if you want to go on my Facebook page and share some selfies from where you like to run or where you work out, then I would love to see that. Anyway, I hope to see you again soon. I'll be uploading some more Hypno soon. And of course, I'll be with you for a week four update next week. Cheers, bye. I'd rather be